Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got the Marvelous Marble for October 2023. It's an Instagram collaboration hosted by Skull Lover Nails and Polished Opinions. Our colors this month were yellow, orange, red, pink, and white. So fun. Here we go. I started off with Neltik's Formula 2 on my nails and here is Bases Loaded Lacquer Shutout. My favorite, favorite white. Um, I'm hoping she comes out of hiatus one day because um, I, I, I'm going to need some more of the white and the black for sure. For sure. I, I think I have a backup bottle and so I might get start getting stingy with it. You know what I'm saying. But I am going to use a white base today. I know y'all are shocked because I normally don't do that. But today we are. <laughs> because we're crazy like that today. I'm going to break out my cleanup brush and just tidy this up a little bit because I don't want to go into it, you know, already flooded and messed up. Look at that. Beautiful. I'll be using Square Hue, and this is Ballet from the Aberest Collection. Beautiful light pink. And this one is St. Vincent. Oh, beautiful orange shimmer. And then this yellow is Belly Dance. I oh, so miss Square Hue. Oh, I miss them so much. And then Via Della Spiga. Beautiful red. Oh. I'll be using Protect Me by Adored Colors and Tape today. I'm going to go around the tips of my fingers with a little bit of tape. Yeah, I'm going to mush it down. And then I'm going to go in with the liquid latex. Now, I love this setup. And I know some people are thinking, that's so stupid to use two different things. Just use one or the other. But the tape, if I take it up too high, I can't bend my finger. And the latex likes to stick to itself, like if I accidentally touch it to another finger. So I have found this method right here to be perfect. I've got just a regular little cup from the bathroom of regular water. And um, it's room temperature. And I've put my first drop in and kind of pulled it to the edge, running my toothpick around it. And we're just going to build up a bullseye here. I did the red and the yellow and now the orange. And here we go with some pink. And I'm going to let y'all know I totally messed this up. But I roll with it. And I'm going to show you how I do that. That, of course, is the white from um, Bases Loaded Lacquer. And I did a ring of it. And now I'm going to try to go through and do some more rings because the outside rings you don't get very much of them into your design so I'm trying to just add as much as I can build it up as good as I can get it and um, I'll share my oopsies with you it'll it'll be a little further into the video but I did the straight line up to the top and the bottom and now I'm doing the zigzag across the cup because it seems to be my favorite <laughs> and then I'm going to line up my two fingers, my middle nail and my pointer fingernail. And we're going to dip down in. And I'm holding the cut between my thumb and my fingers so I don't knock it over. I am getting the excess off the top of the water. Try to get as much of that up as I can. And then pull my nails out. i got some bubbles going on, but we'll fix them later. I'm going to let that polish just dry a little bit. We are going to get these... Um, protections off. I didn't run a toothpick around them because I didn't see the polish really connecting like to my nail, you know. So I didn't worry about it too bad this time. But you can run a toothpick around the outside of the nails if you feel like they're going to maybe pull it up and pull something off of your nail. So I've got a little bit of stuck there. There we go. Got that. Got that little bitty piece of latex. I got another one over here. Okay, here we go. We're going to do the same thing again. I put my first drop in, and you can see I'm running my toothpick around the cup. It makes the polish spread all the way to the side and kind of attach or anchor it to the side of the cup. And then I can build my bullseye. Now, no two nails ever look the same, ever. I've never been able to get them to look the same. And that's what I love about a water marble. But I do like to get them as uniform as I can. They ain't going to be Twinkies. They're not going to be twins, but 
I do want them to, you know, kind of resemble each other. I love watching a bullseye get built. Watching them spread out. Line up next to each other. It's just peaceful and lovely. Got another pink one in there. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and start growing. Top to the bottom. And then I turn my cup. Looks like a, a kissy mouth. Alright, so we're doing our little zigzag chevron pattern kind of in here. And this is where I'm fixing to mess up when I dip. <clears throat> and you're going to get to see it because I share everything. <laughs> All the things. Even the things I'm not proud of. But I want you to show we're all human and accidents do happen. And I'm trying to line these up. See my ring fingernail and my pointer nail. I mean my ring fingernail and pinky nail are. Okay. I messed up and I dipped my middle nail again. And then I just started freaking out and pulled my nail out. So now I'm just dipping them all back in. I'm like whatever. If we double dipped, we're double dipping. And that was my accident for the day. So, we've got double dipping on the last three nails, and we're just going to leave it like that because, you know what? It still looks good. At least to me it does. And I'm still tripping, by the way, while I'm filming this. I'm like, ah! I wanted them to all look like the pointer finger. But oh well. So now I'm going to clean that mess up off the water. And I've got to go in because i got to do my thumb. And um, I do it separate because I can't just figure out how to do it with any of the other ones. But that's okay. It's okay. Um, I do like it when, when I can do multiple fingers. Um, I think the most I've ever been able to get into the cup is three and I, I just I trouble. And then look, there we go. I got too many blobs in that one. It's okay though. Because like I said, they don't always look the same. They don't always act the same. But that's as long as they kind of Got the same colors going on and somewhat the same thing going on. It'll be all right. There we go. We're just going to keep adding drops until we're happy. And I'm almost there, y'all. I'm almost happy. And that red's not... Oh, see, it was acting up. And now we've got another catastrophe. But we're just going to roll with it. I mean... You know, why not? <laughs> but just so you know, I've been doing water marbles for a long, long time, and I still have trouble sometimes. Um, I know people have said, Oh, you're the water marble queen. No, I'm not the water marble queen, I'm telling you. I have so many troubles sometimes. But I share them with you so that you know I'm, I, I, I'm, I have issues sometimes. So we're going to dip that one in there. And then blow on the top of the water a little bit to make that dry a little faster. But these polishes work really great for water marbling. So if you got some of these old square hue uh, polishes, man, break them out and water marble with them because they do so good. Look at that thumb. It is so gravy. Oh, yeah. There we go. We almost got all of that one off. Got okay, my tweezers in here for a little bit more latex. I like it. So here we go cleaning up. And you can see it does look kind of like a hot mess, but I like it. I mean, I, d I didn't do it on purpose, but I still liked it. It is definitely a water marble. It's just a double dipping. And double dipping's okay. Um, you know, I, in my opinion. So we're doing our cleanup here. Um, the latex and the tape really make this so much easier. Not near as much to clean up over here on the sides around this cuticle area. Very nice. So there it is, my hot mess. <laughs> the Hot Mess Express added it again. Alright, so now I've got Woody out here and we're just mashing down some of these bubbles. I got quite a few of them on this nail. And we're going to flatten them out because if you don't, when you run the top cover, top cover, top coat over them it'll pop them and then you've got like a hole and it smears so here we go one more right here tap 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 I'm using my finger too because I can 
And now that that is done, we're going to top these with some posh top coat. And I'm still wearing this. I mean, I, I, it's been a week, and I'm still wearing it. It's looking a little ragged. It's about time to go back into the room and play again. Um, but I really like this one. I love water marbling. It's very, very fun for me. And even though I had some issues with this one, I still had a great time. <laughs> and I think I ended up with a pretty wicked manicure. <laughs> I love the color combo. Um, it kind of, for some reason, it was um, saying candy corn to me, even though it had red in it. I was still getting some candy corn vibes. And it's all good. All right, hashtags should be down in the description box if you want to check out the other manicures. And here's my swatch photo. There it is, y'all. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.